everyone, welcome back to Silver and Chill. I'm Kev, and yesterday we were watching the last episode of Season 3 of Vikings. This one's called The Dead. I'm still trying to get my head around um, what Ragnar's plan is, um, especially after the end of the last episode, as you are aware. Um, Ragnar got baptized. Now, what, what what's he playing at? What what's you know, Come on, there's got to be something. There's got to be like I mentioned when I was talking about it. Um, host uh, episode nine. Um, it was. It's got to be some kind of a plan. He is so he loves his god so much. I know he's been a bit conflicted, especially with um, what happened with Athelstan, and I know that he misses his mate and everything like that. But he's not going to go against his entire religious belief. No, unless he's doing kind of like I said, unless he's doing like what Rollo did. Rollo was kind of like, no, um, no, I'm just doing it for a laugh because I don't believe in them that much. I don't believe in them that much that I can actually be baptized and it not even be an issue. Where I don't know if Ragnar would do that because he's, you saw how the rest of the people responded to Athelstan when um, he chose uh, uh, Christianity. Um, and, and you just saw what Arslag did. He was like, oh, he's a Christian. Yeah, just kill him. As she's playing with the bane. As if to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it, it's nothing. He's, his life is forfeit. His life means nothing because he's worse than a dog. Like, that's what kind of Floki looks at him, looks at Christianity like. Anyway, so he's got to, he's, it's got to be a game. It's got to be a game. It's got to be something he's doing. It's got to, I'm looking forward to seeing, looking forward to seeing what he has in store, what he has planned. Um, Obviously, watching what, um, uh, seeing what happened to uh, Bjorn, I was a little bit surprised. I, I thought he was dead there for a second. He looked absolutely goosed. Um, he was lying on the floor, eyes wide open, things sticking out of his back. I thought he's done, uh, but I'm pleased he's not. I'm a little bit disappointed that Thron has seemingly pissed off uh, in the middle of the night and left their uh, little Siggy with our slag to look after. I mean, I know Bjorn's going to come back, but I see something happening between Bjorn and Torvi anyway, I think. I think um, young, what's he called, Erlander's going to get it uh, somewhere along the line in Torvi. I think they've, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up how they do the show, you see. Um, I know that they do try to stick to, they stick to like real stuff, but, but they're also, they've, they've got a lot of creative license as well to play around with a few of the characters. Uh, so there will be some things that are factually correct and a lot of things that are infactually correct. So I think they do try to play with stories a little bit. And but with just personally, with how I've seen the show written, um, it just seems like they try to sow the seed a little bit early. Uh, and then they've hoi Torvi in the mix. And then he was like the way the way he walked past when he was when he was when he was hurt and Ragnar dragged him past. He saw Torvi in it. Like why would they put her in the scene? It's kind of like it's just sown that there's something there. For me personally, I believe this is this, this, this it isn't even the end of it, the se it's season three yet, uh, and I believe there's something going to happen between Rollo and that princess. Hope I thought maybe wrong on both parts. Don't laugh at us if I'm wrong though, because uh, but I have been quite quite on the mark so far, so uh, I'm not going to argue. If you're enjoying the channel at all, remember there's a like button and a subscribe, and I do put the full length episodes to this and other stuff over on the Patreon. Uh, you can just go and check that out if you want. I will leave a link. And uh, yeah, and if you're enjoying the channel, please hit the like and subscribe. I don't see why not. If you're enjoying it, I don't see why, why, why you would. So let's go. Really excited about this. Last episode in the season, so this is going to be exciting. I can see it being exciting anyway. I'm excited for this last episode. Come on, boys. Let's get this uh Let's get Paris sacked. Oh, here we go. They're going to kick right off for them. Nervous as to how they're going to act. He's a Christian now. All the treasure is here, as promised. The Emperor expects that you will meet yours and leave immediately. Expects. Lords of, lords of treasure. They're not there for the treasure, though. Uh, Ragnar wants Paris. I'll tell Ragnar. I was just gonna just pilfer it. Wow. <laughs> oh wow, he is really ill. I might be completely wrong here. They brought the payment. It makes no difference to me. Does he think he's dying? I am dying. Oh. 
But at least I know. I was the Athelstan again. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What is going on? At least I'll see Athelstan again. I cannot believe that Ragnar is truly a Christian. Not in his heart. It did not change you. He did not want it to change me. What they're saying about Ragnar. I hope so. Why? Because no Christian king will ever be allowed to rule our world. Yeah. It's unthinkable. An insult to our gods and our people. Dude. Why don't you just go back to sleep, mate? That's what he seems to do. He needs to rest on it. And wax his beard a little bit more. Princess Gisla, I want to talk with you. Gisla. Now, Count, it's neither the time nor place for earthly things. For earthly things. Allow me to demonstrate my gratitude. <laughs> All right, oh. Later, perhaps. He's even bonnier than the princess. What a day to celebrate. Paid them to go away. How do you count that a victory, father? If only Charlemagne was here. Are you sure? Now I am tired. Ah, I need to go to bed again because I love it. I love going to Kip. As soon as he hears something he doesn't like to hear, it's like... All uh, right, I'm going to go to bed. And just think on it for 40 winks. Let's go of the... Yes. Oh, please. Oh, but you don't understand. What is there to understand? It's everything. There will come a time when you will be responsible for our people. Whoa, don't be sitting a good us. You are okay. For now. It's when your time comes. You must lead with your head. Not with your heart. I have something. Only just you to do for me. There's a twist, there's a twist, there's a twist. What have you got planned, Ragnar? <laughs> if you would truly see what the gods have in store for you. Or unless he thinks he's gonna be king. Where does your husband think you are tonight? She seems very boring. Well, yeah, but you're married and you're like, you're not like, be trusted, love. But then again, breaking her could be interesting. Breaking her? Wow. I could keep your interest. No. We will see. Test you out, love. See what, see what you like. <laughs> Unless he's setting her up. Unless she's got a proper dungeon down there. Go on, son. I like whips and everything. Oh my god. He's, he is. He's a proper masochist. Gonna tie her up. Fifty shades of... <laughs> Oh my god, she's gonna get fifty shaded all over. To be chained up and whipped. <laughs> oh dear. It would keep my interest. Undoubtedly. Oh wow, he's a little bit of a naughty boy. I couldn't picture the princess being locked in there getting whipped to bits. I mean, what does she tell her husband? What happened to you? Oh, yeah, someone just mistook us for a horse. Just whipped us all over when I was on my way home. Strike. He liked that. Did she like it? I don't think she liked it. <laughs> yeah, I think she was against that. What has he told Bjorn? What are you doing? Ragnar asked me to build him one last pot. Oh, it's his goodbye board. Almost a month since we gave them their blood money. What? A month? So why are they still here? We don't know. Wow, that's a long time. Like the amount of people there that they need to feed every day. Once in a while you're still here and not returned home. Our king, my father, Ragnar Lothbrook, is too weak and ill to travel. He wants to see. He is, though. There's no playing about. It's not like he's going to go in there and Ragnar's just sitting playing on his Xbox or something, do you know what I mean? He's like, he's pretty ill. Come on, Floki. Whoa, don't put your hand on your sword, son. Take your hand off your sword. <laughs> if he dies, he's only asked one thing. That he receive a proper Christian burial. Otherwise, we will not leave. 
He says you may bring his body to the cathedral, carried by unarmed men. Bring him into the gates. Bring him... We're not seeing the... We're not seeing like a Roman Trojan horse thing going on, are we? Do one thing for me. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Okay, the rack. Okay, the rack. I love it. I've got it. I know what he's going to do. Is, is, he, is he going on an assassination mission? He's done all of this to get behind the door, behind the walls. He isn't as ill as he's made out. Oh. I'm only saying that because we were in, in the season three and there's more Vikings to come. So they're going to say he's dead. There's no, yes, of course he's not dead. Block is built on that. He's well and truly alive in there and he's going to get over there and he's going to kill somebody. <laughs> yes, the rag. There would have been much more of a, a burial than this. Is, is beyond the only one in on it. All the others think he's dead. Like people like Erlander and that will be smiling and Kalf. Fucking where? No way. It's the rag. Only beyond knows the true story and me because I've fucking figured it out because I'm a G. You can go talk to him now. But does that mean that Beyond would automatically become king? Who's next in line succession wise when it comes to. He's dying to laugh, isn't he? <laughs> not laugh, you know what I mean? Because it's a set... I'm dying to laugh because it's a setup, it has to be. It's Ragnar, it's not dead. Ah, I would never believe it. <laughs> oh, I thought geez, he's going to hear what everybody has to say. If you have gone to heaven, then we will never meet again. And we shall meet again and fight. Love one another. Rahe, I've never stopped loving you. Oh, she's telling me no. Not for one moment. I'm sorry you're dead, but well, it happens to all of us sooner or later. It's just funny that the gods took you first. You thought you were a god right now. But in the end. Just a man. Just a man. Oh my god, he, Rag's gonna come back and kick him right in the fucking beard. Made the boat that took you to fame. Made the boat that will take you to your heaven. You betrayed us. You betrayed your heritage. You betrayed me. I loved you more than anyone. I loved you more than that priest ever loved you. I hate you, Ragnar Lothbrok. And I love you with all my heart. Oh. Why do you tear me away from myself? Wow, such so intense, man. I can't, like, I'm not speaking at all. I'm just sitting here, kind of like. Oh my God, I'm like nervous because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I just don't know how they're going to work it. The only reason I'm saying that is because we were on season three. I'm not gonna kill Ragnar, are they? I've got to, I've got to think of like what else is he doing? Why would like Rollo or somebody not be carrying? I don't know. Maybe that's just a trait that we've kind of picked up now. Extremely respectful thing to carry someone's coffin. literally could just be filled with dynamite and then they could just be on a suicide mission they go in there light it and the entire thing explodes takes out quarter of paris <laughs> just a no rag's gonna just pop out full-on burial they're not even bothered about being there they've just agreed so the so the uh, the bike and piss off 
Gloria Patria Filio et Spiritui Sancti. He was still a Christian. Amen. <laughs> What? I did not expect that this quick. Oh, wow. Stabbed in the neck. He's gonna, you could kill her. He's gonna kill her. There we go. Gonna, he's gonna he's gonna set a throat. He should have took he should have took the, the emperor. Oh he's gone back to sleep. He's always fucking knackered, isn't he? I thought it was gonna wait until the night time or something and he was gonna kinda sneak out. They're all waiting outside, aren't they? Oh they won't dare say an out. They're gonna open the door and they're all gonna run in. And the Nazis won. They've took Paris. Cut them. He isn't just gonna kill. No, he's not gonna kill her. He's gonna use her as a bargaining chip, isn't he? No, he is everybody. Beyond. Don't kill her. Oh, he let it go. Oh, she was fully expecting to die there. Oh, I love Rag. <laughs> that was such kind of an amazing thing to do. I, I, she was in such shock when he just went. Because... There was no reason to keep her alive. He could have just killed her. Princess demoralized the entire city. Cut her head off and just went, there you go, everybody. Instead, he let her go. She's kind of like their beacon, their shining light after what she did. He could have just gone, hey, look at her. Let's have a look at her head and just like threw it off the bridge. Everyone under this being like in shock. Not the living, but the dead will conquer Paris. Yes. The dead will conquer Paris. The seer was right. What a fucking ledger Rooney. I heard what you all had to say to me on my deathbed. You all know that I heard. I know what you said, Lagatha. Let's get to bed. That was brilliant. Oh my god, there's so many civilian clerics everywhere now. <laughs> uh, I'm in absolute shock, disbelief, and awe at the same time. What is there to say? You're lucky they didn't violate your daughter, love. Father. Gotta grow a fucking set. Why did you not tell us earlier? There you go. Did you not trust us? I did what my father asked me to do. Sure. It is the way he wanted to do it, and he is still king. Yes. We leave the camp tomorrow for home, but because we intend on raiding Paris again in the spring, it is important to maintain some sort of presence here. Who's staying? I will stay. Yeah. No. Oh. You have no reason to stay yes. here, Loki. Yes, Rollo is gonna stay. You will winter here with the rest of the warriors who decide to stay with you. A lot of them will leave, a lot of them will stay. So good. So good. So he's still sitting there. I bet his fucking Tash is still all nice and waxed. The great warrior called Rollo has remained in the camp. But they will return again. That is why Rollo has remained. So what are we to do? You need a mate with Rollo. I cannot and will not allow 
such an intolerable fate to befall a beloved city. Gonna bring Rollo in. You will have to offer them even more money. I will have to offer them even more than that. Oh, he's gonna offer her. I must offer them something far more precious to me. He's gonna offer her go. to Rollo. Here we go. Summer. I know. You. I must offer your hand in marriage. I would kill myself for the sake of Paris, but I will not be tied in holy matrimony to someone who is more beast than man. Then I will have to recall her deputation. You have already sent an envoy to make this offer without even asking me? Oh. Without even thinking of me? It's coming, I knew it. Oh, father. I am your father, but I am also the emperor of Francia. And it is not your father who asks this of you. It's your king. It is the emperor. And therefore, you will obey him. I'm giving you up for the Northman Ravager. <laughs> uh, I think this could work out for all parties. You will be offered a vast area of land in the northern part of Francia, the highest honor he can bestow. You will be very rich and you will be very important. He's going to take the deal. The emperor also offers the hand in marriage of his beautiful daughter, Princess Gisela. What must I do in the return? You will defend Paris against your brother. Oh. Defend Paris against your brother. And he's going against all oh, this. Uh, it's fucking, we're going over all territory here, like. Oh my God. Oh. He's just gonna go. She doesn't want to marry him, Ed. J'avoue, salut. <laughs> it's like I'd rather sleep with a dog than sleep with him. Oh, oh okay, I might be wrong, then I mightn't go that way. Blocky. Oh, he's going to tell him he knows he, he's going to say, I know you killed Athelstan or something. He's going to say something like that. It's the end of the season. It's like the we've got oh, no, a minute and a half left. It's going to tell him. You killed that post <laughs> Oh my god, I could have just wrote, I could have helped write the show, but it's already been wrote. Um, okay. That was a brilliant episode. Um, very, very good. Kind of what I expected. Um, going into that, obviously, with what I said at the beginning, I did feel like there was some setup that had to be. It, it did turn out that Ragnar really doesn't believe in the gods, at, in, in, in Christian gods at all. It was so he doesn't mind being baptized. He's always going to go to Valhalla. It's a bit like what um, Rod Rollo said. You know, he got baptized, but he knew that he, he would, you know, his gods are stronger, that he would never go no go to heaven it would always be valhalla so it's you know it's about the, your belief system um when he started going look i've got something to tell you to be on i was like oh come on a minute and then when they started talking about i want to be buried i was like come on see you've got to understand from my point of view um i like, like when this first came out people will have been unsure as to what was going on they didn't know if there was going to be a next season unless i wasn't sure whether it had been like kind of forecast how many seasons of uh, vikings there was i know the six Right, so I know there's more than this. Um, so for them to, so like, first time watching, for people to first time watching, they would have been obviously kind of going, is he is he really dead? You know, is he really dead? Whereas I'm kind of going, no, he's not going to be dead. You know what I mean? There's more Vikings to have. So I'm looking at it from that point of view. I'm looking, there must be something between the lines. I'm reading, there's got to be something there. Um, which made it easier for me to kind of guess that there must be something going on or there must be something afoot uh, in this whole plan. Yes, I didn't think he, I thought he was going to kind of wait till night and then just kind of sneak out and kind of open the doors or whatever. But now he just jumped out, um, grabbed, you know, grabbed the Emperor and then, you know, he, he skewered 
the priest and then he was like right let's go and took her out now um i was very surprised that he, he let her go let's be honest um yeah and, uh, yeah let's unless you know once he knew the gates were open they were just gonna go in they weren't trying to take the entire city they just wanted to go in get a bit more gold and go i, I, I don't know i think that I, thought, I felt like that was a little bit flat like they just kind of went in just took took some more stuff and left and they'd been there a month like waiting for that plan a plan of like a month just to do that um, and then they've left i mean surely they could just reinforce again and be like yeah sorry you're not coming back in i'm gonna lock the doors again and basically it would be back to exactly the way they were before they even broke into the city you know what i mean they could just reinforce it again and just be like yeah yeah no yeah you're done and they didn't kill anybody it's not like they came in and wiped out half the city and kind of took control it was just kind of like yeah we'll come in steal something and then we'll just leave uh so i don't know kind of what they gained from that um yeah if they'd kind of killed the princess and the emperor and said, right, okay, we've, we've killed you both. So now we're going to leave. We've took some stuff. Uh, we'll be back in a few months. Yeah, you just chill and wait for us. You know, they would have been like, oh my God, let's like, oh, and they left here like Rollo in there in charge of everything. They would have been like, okay. But they basically came in, stole some stuff and then went and like left everybody kind of back to it. I even left the princess going like, there you go. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm just reading into it a little bit wrong, but it seemed a little bit like, you know, that they didn't do enough. Once they'd got in there, yeah, they just kind of went in and went, hey, hey, all right. And then Rag walked out, let them go. They went in, stole some kit and left. Hmm. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, that was so funny with Rollo. I mean, I know that I've, I've, I've kind of felt that there was a problem with Rollo and, and uh, Gizla. I thought they were going to get together. Um, hmm, maybe not. Uh, he'd rather sleep with the dog than, uh, than Rollo. <laughs> Brilliant. But I do like her. She's feisty. Um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously the whole Ragnar thing with Floki. You know, that was coming. It was always going to come. Um, he knows. He, he's known from day dot. He's told, um, he told Ragnar. Sorry, Ragnar's told Floki there. I know. Floki didn't kind of go, what are you talking about? Honestly, Rag, I didn't. He's just kind of gone, uh, oh shit, I know. He knows. So that relationship is doomed, I would think. I would I would have kind of said that that's the, the end of that. Uh, Lagatha. Lagatha telling them that, you know, she's loved them. And that they're going to be together in Valhalla. Oh man, so does is, is the hope for that? It's the hope for that relationship. Because now he's alive. You know, the beyond's there. You know. You know, you know, you know. So it's kinda of like, is the life there? Is it is it, is it gonna is it gonna move on? That he's gonna like well, he's not gonna leave Alslag, like, but is that like right he's gonna go right? I'm going back with Lagata. Um Yeah. Yeah. I hope. It'll be wholesome again. All we need now is to get it to come back. <laughs> and then that will be it. Have the little family. Um, right. But yeah, overall, I love that uh, that season. Really good. Loads of entertainment. Going to be going into season four. Now, we do understand that the, the episodes go from 10 episodes a season to 20, which will be a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get more out. Um, as you are aware, uh, I do have a lot of other stuff that goes out on the channel. Um, so, I'm just trying to kind of balance what's good for the channel as well because i know that a lot of you have brought on you that you are aware that this this show doesn't get uh, as as many kind of views and stuff as other ones um so i do have to kind of balance what's what's working for the channel i know i know that the majority of the people on this channel like like um like star wars and clone wars and stuff um and band of brothers and all that so i do want to put this on obviously i'm loving it myself so i do want to enjoy it but i've got to balance what's right for the channel along what what's right for what i want to watch as well on the channel makes sense but i'm loving it absolutely loving it um if this is your first time i will put uh the link to the playlist of the other ones that i have seen i will stick a subscribe button up there if you want to give it a click and thank you so much yeah as always if you spent any time with me today watching you know i do appreciate it more than anything and uh, yeah i'll see you all very very soon